I'm Cody Field, and I am an athlete. I am a Special Olympics athlete. I'm 31 years old. I'm, I compete in snowboarding, soccer, flag football, all sorts of sports. My very favorite one is snowboarding. Before Special Olympics Colorado, I was a hot mess. Like, um, when I was like, before that, I was all in anger. I wasn't like, um, I was actually not in a good mental zone. I was diagnosed with bipolar schizoaffective. I'd have these mood swings. Without the Abilify and Trileptal I take now, I would be a hot, 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 hot mess. It would not be like, um, it would not be the Cody you know today. It would be a darker Cody. You know, Cody does suffer from a mental illness as well as an intellectual disability. He was a, he was a pretty difficult child to soothe or calm um, and you just never knew what was gonna set him off um, so he was he was pretty difficult to to manage as a child after a few years they finally found the right medication to help him remain calm and uh, help with everything before that it was kind of a nightmare um, he would have these meltdowns and you never knew where they were coming from uh, they would appear out of nowhere, and then trying to calm him down was very difficult. He'd thrash, uh, physical, uh, he'd be very frightened. And it, it was very difficult. His first hospitalization um, was in March of 2001. Um, and he came out of that hospitalization totally over-medicated. Um, his teacher said that, you know, he's not the sweet little boy that we knew before. So we went back for another hospitalization where they changed his meds again. And he was pretty stable um, for a little bit. And then the following January, um, he was just out of control. You, he was a little too big for me to try to even do a safety hold on him. So it was a situation where, you know, we sometimes had to call the police to ask for help just to physically control him. We had our fourth hospitalization in February, and then he went to the day treatment program at Children's Hospital. And, um, you know, after that, things started getting better. What helped him sometimes, too, uh, was, was athletics. And, and that's the whole part of the whole reason he got involved with Special Olympics. Well, he first went to the Winter Games in 2004. Mm -hmm. um, so I think he started in the fall of 2003. But we had tried soccer and other sports, team sports, that club team sports did not work very well because they weren't prepared to be with a special needs child. And a lot of the coaches didn't know how to protect the special needs child, how to you know, keep him safe basically within the team and stuff like that. I was on the, my first team I was on was called the Bandits. And the kids there bullied me a lot. He did a season. I'm not sure I would call it a whole season with soccer. And, uh, you know, the parents were yelling at him. The kids were yelling at him. Um, everybody is screaming and yelling at him. And he was just trying. And at that point, you could really see how difficult it was for him and for them to include him in, you know, the athletic portion of it. And it just made it so much more obvious that it wasn't a good fit. When I started with Special Olympics, from darkness, to light. How Special Olympics Colorado has changed me 
I, I made new friends. The cheering, the fun, the electricity really brings out my inner light. The aha moment was when he joined the ski team, we skied and all the coaches were great, okay? Cody got along really well with all the athletes and he just loved the coaches, it was fabulous. He liked it, he had fun. Um, and then the real aha moment was, for me, was state games. When he was successful and he was really happy at being able to, to at that time, ski, because he didn't switch to snowboarding until later. But he just seemed to really be enjoying himself. In 2013, I went to the World Winter Games in Pyeongchang, South Korea. I had never actually seen him snowboard up until that point. And the first time I saw him come down, and I didn't even realize it was him, I was just watching and it was this kid coming down really fast on the snowboard. You know, and then he comes down and he whips off his helmet and he's, you know, all smiles and high-fiving everybody and congratulating the other athletes and whatnot. So that was really my aha moment as far as how Special Olympics really impacted the young man that he was. I was really excited to be selected because it was my first World Winter Games and I never believed I would get three gold medals. I did get three gold medals in my prime at snowboarding. G Giant Slalom, Slalom, and Super G. I've been up at X Games for 10 years, and I've competed in the Unified Dual Slalom Race and Snowboarding at the X Games. I have three Unified partners I've competed with for 10 years. One was Renee Renacangas, Two, Amy Purdy, a Paralympic medalist. And last but not least, the greatest Sochi and Pyeongchang gold medalist in the slope style course, Jamie Anderson. And the best part, in 2022, two years ago, I won my very first X Games medal silver. I have been selected to be the WWE Impact Community Correspondent. I had the opportunity to attend the Royal Rumble, and at the Royal Rumble, that's where they told me that I was selected to be the WWE Impact Community Correspondent. Being at the Royal Rumble was a major dream come true because that was my first ever pay-per-view event I was live for. And being at the Experience Royal Rumble, meeting Triple H, Cody Rhodes, Road Dog, and oh my God, LA Knight and Natalia. And Natalia came backstage personally just to see me again. And when I saw her go in the first entry of the Royal Rumble, I was cheering my guts out. Like my lungs after hearing Cody Rhodes' music, shot. <laughs> I'm a service ambassador with United, and I've been with them for two and almost a half years now. I get to direct people where to go in the airport at DIA, and alongside that, we get to do bag tags to like, um, the ones are regular ones, not the priority ones, but the regular bag tags. We also work at the concourse as wayfinders. We help people find their way around, With a partnership with United and Special Olympics, that's more than inclusive than I'll ever be. Because <laughs> to be honest, I'll say this from my, my experience with United, they have shown me the greatest impact beyond what I know. Working with United brings my heart way over the moon and back to earth. very proud of how far he's come regardless of snowboarding or anything like that um, 
there was a time that I wasn't really sure how things were going to turn out for Cody as an adult. I mean, when he was 10, people were telling me I was probably going to have to institutionalize him. And now he's just such a outgoing, compassionate young man that, um, you know, he wants to include you in everything. He's become much more confident in who he is, what he does, and um, he's very outgoing. And I don't think any of us would have described him that way 20 years ago. Um, and um, and yeah, I mean, the, the fact that he's become this young man makes you think that, yeah, there is a future for him out there, not just doing Special Olympics, but doing a lot of other things that he's been able to get involved in. I think in the past, mental illness has been really, you know, kind of like one of those things that nobody really talks about. But, you know, again, we have gone through a lot of stuff and there are a lot of resources out there um, that weren't there when he was growing up. And, and I'm really glad to see that they are there in place now. But it, it says a lot about a young man who was born with oh, and dealt with all the different issues that he has, that he can go through all of the things that he has and turn out as, as wonderful and as positive and as popular as he is now. So, you know, just, just because it is doesn't mean it has to be. And I think that, you know, Cody's an excellent example of, you know, you can start at the bottom, but still have plenty of opportunity at the top. So just what a wonderful young man he has turned out to be. The best part about the um, Special Olympics Colorado that I love the most, just because you see someone for what they, what they are, doesn't mean they can't do better.